not long to go now at all. It's been uh, such a long wait. Just how much excitement is there about Newcastle's return to the Champions League? It's imminent. Yeah, I was having to check my watch there. It's been a very quick day here in Milan as Newcastle build up to the return to Champions League football. As you say, just over 20 years since they last dined at Europe's top table. And it's, what, one hour and 45 minutes until kick-off here in the San Siro. That imposing stadium behind me when Eddie Howe's team take to the field and end that 20-year wait to play in the Champions League. But one player who was playing back then 20 years ago, and let me tell you, he looks like he could still be playing today, is Shea Given. He's to my right-hand side. He's going to step in for a little chat with us. Shea, great to see you. I wish I was playing. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you could still do a job out there. We were just looking at the stadium behind you. I mean, for these Newcastle fans, they've travelled here in their thousands. To be here on this stage and seeing their team play in that stadium, it means everything to them, doesn't it? Oh, it's mega. I mean, you say that 20 years, it seems seems like yesterday for me personally, but it's a long time since these fans have been here at this at this level, at this, at this stadium, as you say, 20 years has gone by, by in a sort of blink of an eye, but they're back at the top table, Keith. They're back dining with the, some of the best teams in Europe. And, uh, you know, we've seen the Newcastle fans over the last couple of days over here in Milan. They've been... They've been absolutely loving it, you know. You can hear them singing in the background. They're singing Sandra Tonelli songs. I'm, I'm just trying to make out if it's the Milan fans or the Newcastle fans, because obviously they used to play here, but it's, uh, there's a nice buzz before the game, for sure. Yeah, I popped down to the, the canal down in the centre where all the, the fans are gathered, and it's yeah. some atmosphere down there. I know you stuck your head in as well yeah. to see some of them. They're just, they're just loving the day, aren't they? Yeah. And it, it's nice to see. It is nice to see. Uh, as I say, it's been a long time since they've travelled across Europe, you know, following the black and white, so... You know, they, they deserve this sort of moment. Last night that we got here, it was lashing down the rain, the storms and stuff, and now it's a, it's like a different country. The sun's shining, you know, the tops are off down the canal. They're, they're having a great time, Keith, and, and you, you know, they've had some tough times over the last, you say, I suppose, 20 years or many years it's been, but it's, it's, they've had some tough times, some bleak times as well, of course, you know, but now to be back in the Champions League, it's very, very special for these fans. Well, Shea, that storm that you mentioned last night, we were caught in it entering the stadium. Yeah. Newcastle were delayed here by around about two and a half hours. Eddie Howe didn't address the media until nine o'clock. I guess the players didn't get to their bed yeah. until later than normal. Will that have any bearing on, on today or will they have had enough rest? I don't think so. No, I think you know you, you can hear the atmosphere. I think the helicopter's over by, the police, you know, there's lots of sirens going off. It's there's a real buzz, there's a real excitement around the stadium and, and the players, I think the biggest problem Eddie Howe's gonna have is to, to keep a lid in that, try and keep them focused on their jobs, on the pitch, you know, because you can imagine the sellout in the San Siro behind us, the, the the atmosphere will be electric, you know, come kick off and uh, I think Eddie try and keep his players focused, keep himself focused and for the job in hand because you know if they can get off to a winning start tonight, how that would set them up unbelievable for the for the rest of the campaign. So it's a, it's a massive game. You mentioned Sandro Tonali there. I, I was just down on ground level, lots of AC Milan fans with eight Tonali on their yeah. shirts, Newcastle fans with eight Tonali on their shirts. He's still a, a, a big hero here, I think. Yeah. I know he left under difficult circumstances. Do you think he'll get a warm reception oh, tonight? Yeah. I think so. He's, he's obviously an AC Milan boy. He loves the club. I think he'll, he'll get a big reception. I think from, from both, both sets of fans, I think the 4,500 Newcastle fans will be uh, singing his name, probably rubbing salt in the wind for the AC Milan fans, you know. But... We don't know if he's going to start tonight. Obviously, he didn't start at the weekend against Brentford, but I, I'd be surprised if he doesn't start. You know, he's a, he's a really talented player, and the Newcastle fans are happy on a black and white shirt tonight, that's for sure. So, uh, yeah, I mean, team news will be important. Who starts up top? Will it be Isak? Will it be Wilson? Of course, will Tonali come into midfield? There's lots of decisions for Eddie to make because every single player, no doubt, will want to start tonight. You mentioned the manager, Eddie Howe, there. We spoke to him in the news conference last night. He's never been to a Champions League match before. No, not, not even amazing. to watch as a fan no, or anything. Yeah. And here he is, leading his team out at, at the San Siro. What a, a night it is for him and for him on his, on his CV, isn't he? Because yeah. he is a top-level manager. He is a top-level manager. And it surprised me when he said that he's not even been to a game, even just to watch, you know. So I'm sure when the, the team are lined up and Eddie's standing in the dugout and that Champions League music comes on and, you know, the hairs in the back of the neck, I'm sure he'll be standing. He'll be a proud man tonight representing Newcastle. You know, here in the San Siro, what what bigger stage can it be? And 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 he deserves to be on that stage. The job he's done. You know, Newcastle qualify for the Champions League over the course of a long, hard season. They deserve to be here, and and Eddie, as a manager, deserves to be here too. So uh, it's a great night for everyone. I need to just ask you one more because we touched on it at the, at the beginning. You last played here 20 years ago in the San Siro. I think it was against Inter Milan yeah, that night right, when Alan yeah. Shearer scored too. Just when you think back to then uh, as a player, what was it like? And can you believe it's 20 years since Newcastle? Have been Can't believe it's 20 years, and even me says I can still play. My right knee. He probably says I can't play, but uh, you know, for me, even personally, walking out and onto the pitch, you know, as a player, you know, the, the, the 
stadium goes vertical right up and it feels like the second tier is literally coming over top of you. It's a special place. You know, I know as people say it needs a bit of a revamp, like, but there's a huge history in the stadium behind me and, and, and for these players tonight, when they step onto that pitch, they will realise they're on the big stage tonight and, and I just hope they can perform to the levels they did last season. Thanks, Jay. Thanks very much for your no time. Problem. We should have team news here from the San Siro in round about 40 minutes time. One other thing I just wanted to mention, we've been talking a lot today about the unsavoury scene we saw last night with the Newcastle United supporter uh, who was stabbed in the, the streets of Milan, attacked uh, by some, some locals. I've had a little bit of an update for that in the last uh, half an hour, although he's still being treated in hospital. I think the plan is for him to return back to the northeast later on today. He's been cared for by his family. Newcastle United as a club have been in touch trying to help him as well. So that's good news. The fact that the injuries don't appear to be too serious. He was in that stable condition. The 58-year-old man uh, set to head back to the UK later on tonight. He might get a chance to see some of Newcastle in action uh, against AC Milan before then. Huge night for the football club. Huge night for those supporters as Newcastle, as I say, back into the Champions League after a 20-year hiatus.